mess that was. All right, today we're going to talk about how to. We're going to talk about text and MS Paint. Uh, text and MS Paint is whoops. Text and MS Paint, uh, more than anything else, is just incredibly bad. Text and Paint, um, it's a rasterized text that they anti-alias. So that means when you scale up a part of it like this, the anti-aliasing comes with it. You know, like the blue to fade it from this black, white, whatever. Your, your anti-alias is going to blow up with it, and it's going to look pretty bad most of the time if you try to stretch and scale text. Uh, just bear that in mind. That's just part of the territory. So let's say I want to edit this to say something different. The, um, the big brain approach is to just write right over it, right? Something like that. That's the ascendant way. Uh, if you hold down this and hit opaque, you'll draw a white box around it so there's no way you can mistake it and there you go you've you've made your own subtitles right but that looks like trash whoops that looks like absolute horseshit so don't do that um, what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna take a small piece that we want to replace how about the word boobs uh, I'm gonna replace the word boobs so you're gonna select a small bar above it like maybe one or two pixels tall and you're gonna hold shift and press down like that and that will blotch it out so then you can take a piece like this hold shift and just kind of paint it right and that's just if you want bonus points nobody on the planet earth will notice this anyway you've done it you got it out this part right here is going to get blocked anyway I heard she had six how about fathers Six fathers. I saw them, so I'm going to set my text color to white. Ta-da! I did it. Only the problem is uh, this has a black outline, and this looks like shit. So uh, that's obviously not the best way to do it. The best way to do it is figure out your background color of your outline. I hate it when people fucking do that in videos. You ever listen to a tutorial, and they're like, so the next thing you do, it just makes me want to drink some water. This is black, so I'm going to set this to black, and then my background color, I'm going to set to black, and then hit edit colors, and I'm going to rock this up to, like, 5. No, 10 is good, so you can see it. So after that, you're going to pull a bar down like this, right? And you're going to type fathers in black. You're going to select the word fathers. I don't know if you can see that. You want every border has, like, a pixel radius, like how far away from the how far out the border should go. Uh, if you're going to do one or two pixels out, don't worry about what I'm about to say. Just hit, hold shift, and hit up once, and then down to reset, and then down and up to reset, and then left and right to reset, and then right and left to reset. You know, you're going to go like this, like up, center, down, center, left, center, right, center, or any of those four ways, but you got to reset after you do it. And uh, you're going to build a border. And then... You're going to take a text, put it at white, and type it again, fathers, hit period. And then you're going to drag it on top. And this part is ass. It is so fucking butts. All right, so uh, a, a better method of doing that thing that I was talking about is type it out here, fathers, period. And drag it down on the bottom left. Put some spaces in front of it, maybe two, right? And then when you go and do your thing... One, two, down two, left two, right two, right two, left two, down two, up two. Right, so that's my border. When I go to put my white one in, uh, and I put two spaces in front of it, I can just drag it down, and it will snap in place, you know? Then if I were to just quickly do this, I have my black background, and it centers it. Uh, that's one way you can do that. When I take this and select it, when I pull it away, oh, look at that. I got a black background because this is my transparent selection. It ignored everything around it and just grabbed the black from it, right? That's how you do that. Um, back to what I was saying earlier. You have your thing. If you want to do four, three or four, or maybe more of them, if you're going to go up one, two, three, four, instead of coming back down four, you're going to go back down two, over two, down two, over two, right? One, two, three, four. Instead of going like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you see how it makes like a 
an angle for one, two, three, four. You're gonna make a cross. So what you're trying to do with this, you're gonna do um, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So now you're at a four over there. Uh, if you want to get fancier than that, I don't know why you would in paint, but you can do like uh, one, two, three, four, one over one over one over one. But then you're not gonna have a, a cross. You're gonna have a diamond. You know, you feel me, dog? I'm gonna do. One, two, three, four. One over, one over, one over, one over. Right? And then you're going to go down, over, down, over, down, over. Let this to white. Okay. And click that. Pull it away. There you go. That's how you, that's how you make a border or uh, outline text in, um, thing i would really just recommend taking the entire line like this hold on so here's an interesting point you see this little button i can't select this very well without getting that button i really don't think anybody's gonna miss this button so i'm just gonna get rid of it you know you feel me dog all right so pick your line hold shift drag it down goes away nobody's going to notice this I, I promise you uh, we're going to type out our secret code in the bottom down here again okay pull this all the way over and get it to the normal size there you can see my text right uh, for just a good idea control a copy control C um, so there's your thing I'm gonna just do two I'm gonna go shift up to down to to reset Left to right to to reset. Can't really see too well. Right, right. There looks fine. And there we go. Great. So now you have your own retarded anime subs. I'm happy I could help you. Anyway, that's just that one thing. Let's find ourselves uh, to demonstrate a point. That is so bright. I want to draw text on this, right? But if I draw text on this, Gendo Akari, oh no. Right? It doesn't work. I'm a bad meme lord because it doesn't rotate with the box. You know what I'm saying? You feel me, dog? You understand what I'm... You smell what I'm stepping in? So if I come over here and I type out my, my text, oh no, Gendo Akari, no, or whatever... You're going to select it like this, right? If you select it really small, something bad might happen. So I advise you to do this until you understand how it works. Hit resize. Pick a number, right? Whatever number you think that this slope is, this degree. Whatever you think this degree is right there. I think it's 15. So I'm going to select that, resize. I'm going to say it's 15 degrees, right? If it's a negative 15, you would put negative. And then in the vertical, you just put the opposite. Right? So I do this. Oh no, get into Akari, no. So that was wrong. Let's try, I don't know, 8. And then if you're feeling frisky, you can resize it. Oh no, it got stretched out again. That's because you are basically skewing it again. So let's do 10, negative 10. So that's my oh no thing right there. If I go to resize, I'm just going to do it in here, 150. There we go. So that's how you rotate text in MS Paint. Uh, as you might notice, it looks horrible horse shit. Um, big old baby poo poo. Uh, that's fine because it's an MS Paint drawing and if you expected anything better, then shame on you for being so stupid. That's all. Wow, look, they have concept art for the new Persona game. Look at how cool and gritty it is and very fun. Uh, thanks guys for stopping by for today's episode of MS Masterclass or whatever the hell I called it. I hope you have a nice day. Happy uh, National Day calendar. National Orange Blossom Ice Cream Cake PTSD Awareness Sunglasses Pipe Bomb Handshake Onion and HIV Testing Day. Happy AIDS Day guys. I hope you have a nice safe HIV Testing Day. <laughs>